Here's your NBC 26 News update. I'm Nina Sperano. Wisconsin will now be receiving less stimulus money than expected. The Treasury Department says the state will receive two and a half billion dollars, about seven hundred million dollars lower than what was first projected. The money will be split into two payments one year apart. Governor Evers has not yet said how it impacts his spending plans. He and Senator Tammy Baldwin have reached out to the U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen asking her to reconsider breaking the payments up. Today, the Wisconsin State Senate voted to pass a package of police reform bills, the first legislation of its kind since the death of George Floyd. Among the changes, police departments will be required to post their use of force policies online. Personnel files will need to be maintained and shared with other police departments during the hiring process. And the state justice department will need to collect data on use of force incidents and publish their findings in an annual report. Time now for a check on our weather. We send it now to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Morland. Cam? Hi, Nina. We're looking at another cool day across northeast Wisconsin. Yes, it's warmer than what we saw yesterday, but temperatures are still running about 5 to 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Most of us are in the mid-50s. Out to the west, we've got some 60s. Those 60s will arrive here tomorrow, but not before we have another cold night. Frost advisories and freeze warnings up for all of northeast Wisconsin. Temperatures will dip down into the upper 20s and lower 30s, but with abundant sunshine tomorrow, which is a change from what we've been seeing the last couple of days, the temperature is going to take off all the way up into the mid and possibly upper 60s by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. And that's exactly where we should be. You can see there's the frost and freeze advisories for Northeast Wisconsin. Make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.